Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, squares and square roots. And for this lesson, we look at the square roots of numbers from tables. So we will narrow down to square roots of numbers between 0 and 1. Previously, we were able to see how you find the square roots of numbers between uh, uh, 1 and 10. We looked at 10 and 100. We also looked at those numbers that are greater than hundred and how you, how you can find the square roots of those numbers that is basically using tables so i want to see how then you can be able to find the square roots of these numbers that are in between zero and one those numbers that are starting with 0 0.0.1 0 0.01 0 0.00 you know those numbers those small numbers so how do you use tables to find their square roots and we of course we have some few sample questions just to help uh illustrate how that can be done you know and then of course at the end of the lesson we will to give you some assignment to help you practice on the same so let's see how that can be done so as we had hinted uh, previously we said that the square roots of numbers from 1 to 99.99 uh, can be read directly from the tables from you know we, we already mentioned that when you when you go when you pick Four figure mathematical table it has a series of tables one of the tables that is that is we, we within the content of that book is the tables of square roots where you are able to read the square roots of numbers from that you know so the the, the numbers whose uh, square roots you are able to read from the table there are numbers that are ranging from 1 to 99.99 so what if you find numbers that are outside that range so previously you were able to see how you deal with numbers that are above that range. So this lesson we are going to focus more on the numbers that are below that range. Of course, ranging from uh, zero to one. There are uh, such like the ones that are displayed on the screen: the 0 0.00100, no 0 0.003434, 0 0.009874. So how do you do it? So we have our first example here. Use tables of square roots to evaluate the following. So here you are restricted to using the, 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 the tables of square roots. Remember, we can also use the calculator. We can also use, uh, use, we can also use other methods that you have discussed before. So then how do you use tables to do this? So just like we were able to see in the previous video, where you are able to find the square roots of numbers that are greater than 100. So what we did, we first of all wrote the numbers in the form a times 10 power n, such that a is a number between 1 and 100, and n is an even number. So this is still the rule. n must be an even number. A should be a number between 1 and 100. So it should be less than 100, but can be equal to 1. So 1 less than or equal to A, uh, A should be less than or equal to 100. So that is uh, what you are supposed to do as you, you try to find the square roots of these numbers. So I want to see how that can be done here. So this number here, I'm going to try and express it in that, that form. So because power of 10 must be, you remember the power of 10 simply represents the number of times, the number of places the decimal point has been moved. So what it means is that you have to move the decimal point even number of places. So 1, 2. Actually, that is what we are looking for. So we're going to get 1.1, 1. 1, 0, 0. Four figures, you top up, times 10 raised to power, negative 2. Power negative here means that for you to get the original number, you need to multiply this number here, but you need to divide this number here by 10 two times. When the power of 10 is negative, it means there is need to divide this number by 10 two times to get the original number. So, of course, we are finding the square root. So you find the square root of this and square root of the other one. Square root of this is easy because you simply divide the power by 2. So we have the square root of 1.100 times 10 power negative 1. If you divide the power of 10 here by, by 2, 
you will be able to find a negative one. So this is what you read from the table again. The first two digits, we check from the first two digits here, we check from the column headed X. So you move downwards along this column here until you get to the number 1.1 and you can see it is here. You move across until you get to the next digit, which is zero. So column headed, that next digit is here. So this is the, actually the square root of number that you're looking for. So this is going to be 1.0488. Uh, times 10 power negative one. So you can, this one here, you can leave the answer in that form, or you can decide to, you know, when the power is negative, negative one means the decimal point is supposed to move to the, to the left, one step, you know, or you need to divide this number here by 10 ones, which will move the decimal point to the left. Every time you're dividing by these powers of 10, the decimal point ought to be moving to the left. So if you move these to the left one step, it will be 0 0.104, Eight, eight as the square root of the number that we have here. Let's see again this. So this again, you have to move the decimal point so that you have a number between one and uh, 100, but then you can only move it even number of places. So one, two, three, four, then you stop there. 19 will be a number between one and 100. So we have 19.46, you stop it there, you round off, Four figures. Zero here is less than five, so nothing changes here. If it was five or more, you'd have increased this by one, but this is less than five, so this remains the way they are. Of course, you multiply by 10 power. You move the decimal point how many steps? How many places? One, two, three, four. And of course, we are finding the square root of that. 19 point. So you'll find the square root, oh, this is supposed to be negative. Negative here means, if it's negative four, it means we need to divide this number here by 10 four times so that you get the decimal point to back to its position where it was initially. So this one, the square root of this, you simply divide the power here by two, and then the square root of this, we are able to read it from the table. The rule is that if you're finding the square root of a product of two numbers, then you find the square root of both numbers. So you'll find the square root of this number, you multiply with the square root of the other one, you see. Whether division or multiplication, you have to find the square root of both, square roots of both. So the square root of this, we read from the table, the square root of the other one, you simply divide the power by two. So that is square root of 19.46. 19.46 multiplied by 10 power, negative two. So this is what we read from the table, 19.46. Again, the first two digits we check from the column headed X. So you move with it downwards until we get to 19. Where is 19? So 19 is here. So you move across that row, until you get to the column headed the next digit, which is four. So four, four is here. So this is, that is the square root. So check the first number on that row starts with four points. So even this is supposed to start with 4.4044. So 4.404045. Of course, we have only obtained the square root of 19.4. So there is still six remaining. So you have to continue to the differences column. Along that row, continue to the differences column until the column headed, uh, next digit, which is six, in the differences column. So number six is here. So this is the column. The number there is 68. So we are adding 68 here. Remember, take note of the way we are adding it. We add it to the last digits. So that is 68. So if you add that, it will be 13, 3 carry 1, 10, 11, 1 carry 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 4, and then four, this one is multiplied by 10 power negative, 10 power negative two. So you can leave the answer in this form or you can write it as an ordinary number where now you have uh, the decimal, the power here is negative. So the decimal point is supposed to go to the left two steps. So that is going to be 0 0.04, 4113, 4, 1, 1, Yes. So that becomes the square root of this number. So we have again the last one here. Again, you have to express this number again in the form a times 10 power n. a is the number between 1 and 100. So this will be, so 0, I mean 1, 2. That is still not giving us a number between 1 and 100. So again, 3, 4. That is already giving us a number between 1 and 100. That is 13. So we have now 
nine eight then you stop it there so there's supposed to be four figures only so times 10 raised to power negative 4 again we're finding the square root so you, we, are going, we are going to find the square root of this one here and the square root of that the square root of 10 power negative 4 is easy because simply divide the power by, by 2 this one you read from the table square root of 13.98 so square root of 13.98 times this one we can get it directly we simply divide this by 2 and that is 10 power negative 10 power negative 2 so again this one you can read from the table 13.98 so the first two digits you check from this column here you check up to number 13 move across that in the main column until you get to the column headed next digit which is 9 so you move up to digit number 9 so digit number 9 where is it so digit number 9 is here so check the first number on that row is 3 points so this is going to be 3 point so we have uh, 3 point and let me write it here 3 point 7, 2, 8, 3. And then there is 8 still remaining. So 8 you check. The last digit you check from the differences column up to column number 8. There it is. So that is 109. 109 is added to the last three digits. So 109. If you add that is 12, 2 carry 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. This is going to be 3. This is 7 and this is 3. So you multiply by 10 point negative 2. So it's going to be 3.7392. 3.7392. You multiply by 10 point negative 2. You can leave the answer in this form as a final answer, or you can try to write it as an ordinary number by simply moving the decimal point to the left two steps. So that is going to be 0 0.037392. And that becomes the square root of this number. So that marks the end. We have a few questions here to help you practice. You can see all these numbers are numbers between 1 and 0, 0 and 1. So you can attempt to find their square roots. When you are done, you post the response in the comment section. You look at them. You'll be able to give feedback in the due course. Should you have any question again, you can always be asking the questions on the comment uh, to help us give, 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 I mean, to help us with feed, feedback. We'll be able to look at them and respond in the due course. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time. Goodbye.